Well, noise is when there are a lot of things that, that interfere with, let's say, our prediction of axial length when we're measuring it. Uh, what could interfere with it? Uh, could the patient moving around, not fixating on the target like they're supposed to, have an effect on that? That would add to the noise of the reading. So the reading won't be, won't be right focused. There's noise and it spreads it out. For ELP, there are many things. It's how the surgeon does his surgery. And that's always been an effect on ELP. Uh, we call the personalized factor. In other words, we measure the ELP post-op on patients, take an average of 100 of them, and say, okay, with that lens and this doctor and these machines, that's the ELP we should use in the future, okay? And one of the factors was not only the machines, but the way the doctor did his surgery. Well, lo and behold, maybe if the doctor broke more zonules in his surgery, Dr. A, than Dr. B did, then his lens personalized factor would be different using the same lens and the same equipment. And that's why each doctor was supposed to do his own personalized factor. Decreasing noise will improve the accuracy of IOL power calculation. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, the, the, the less noise, the less errors, the more focused you are in getting that estimation of the lens position, the more accurate the, the formulas will be and the results. Well, I think surgeons have always thought the zonules were important, but they don't look at them because they can't see them. They're completely hidden behind the iris, so the surgeon never sees the zonules unless he would go out of his way to push the iris back in a very traumatic manner to look and see, look at them, okay? So the surgeon really doesn't know whether he has zonules broken or not. Really doesn't know. So the importance of it to the surgeon 30 years ago or to the surgeon today is probably, the average surgeon is not probably very significant. Here's where it comes to play. If so many zonules have been broken in a whole quadrant, whereby the lens could slip back into the back of the eye, then the surgeon will become aware of that. <laughs> He'd be quite unhappy with it. But other than that, small segments that are broken, he doesn't even know they're broken. If it becomes clinically significant, enough of them are broken so it's clinically significant and you see that something is different in the eye, you can, you can make a guess that it may be because of zonules being broken. Then it becomes a significant issue. And I would say that today it's only been looked at by Dr. Roper. I mean, he's the one that noticed that there was a different inaccuracy and proposed the theory that not being traumatic in the, in the posterior segment and breaking zonules is what's leading to this.